Alright y'all, we got a video from Jimmy High Roller again. They should have never let this happen. I see Damian Lillard here. I'm guessing it's something about the Damian Lillard trade. Uh, we're going to hop right into it. Here we go. You want to see something interesting? Here's a chart of every single teammate sure. Giannis sure. Antetokounmpo has played with in the NBA. That's every player in every season for the past 10 years. And they're all plotted based on how good they were in terms of box plus minus and with? win shares. Now, over the years, Giannis, Giannis has played, played with a lot of guys. OJ Mayo, Jabari Parker, he played with Jason Terry box for two seasons. Minus? Kind of a weird overlap. But his best yeah, teammates have all came the last few seasons. Brooke Lopez, Eric Bledsoe, Chris Middleton, Cousins. Drew Holiday. There's some good seasons in here by some good players. And Giannis has made the most of it. And then, there's his new teammate, Damian Lillard, who will easily Dang. be the best player he's ever played with. Mm. The NBA's got a new super team, and right now, way, the way above to Middleton. <laughs> Goodness. My first and Middleton is a great player. Did he say first pick? Today's video is sponsored by CP. With and like Middleton, obviously, is such a great player, and like it's crazy that like Lillard. In block in blocks in box plus minus is like he's so much higher up than he is, you know, in that specific category. That's crazy. As a Blazers fan, I've seen some dark days. Days hmm. I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. I saw my team rally their way to the conference finals for the first time in two decades just to get swept and never return. I've had to watch the player that we That's passed bad. up on turn into an all-time great, AD. while the guy we picked couldn't even stay on the court. I watched Brandon Roy blossom into a oh, star, yeah. and then retire literally 50 games later due to injuries. Bro, this is enough to make a man go insane. So sad. And then, the chosen one. Our loyal king. The one glimmer of hope in a bleak and desolate franchise <laughs> just packs up and leaves to the Bucks, and we get stuck with DeAndre <laughs> Aiden, a guy we aren't even gonna keep, a rookie, and a seventh grader. And I'm not even sure where the Bucks came from. The Blazers seventh and the grader. Heat were stuck in one of the weirdest, most drawn out stalemates for the last three months. And out of nowhere, the Bucks came and picked him up a seventh for grader? actually reasonable price. Oh, and the as pit. sad as I am to see Dame go, I'm happy for the guy. Despite everything he's given to the Blazers, the organization never oh, the quite put him in a position to win. The Mets been in the league for 11 seasons and has played with only one All-Star. And even that was hmm. nearly a decade ago. In fact, That's throughout crazy. his career, That's Dame has made seven All-NBA teams. A with how good these players are, players throughout the history of the he's NBA only played with one All-Star. Out of these players, only 13 of them That's crazy. never won a championship in the NBA. And these 13 players, whether active or retired, are all regarded in the same dismissive fashion. All-time greats who never won a ring. Only four of them are active today. Chris Paul, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and Damian Lillard. And all four of them have reached the same point in their careers. Don't be the guy who had a stellar career with all the awards and achievements, but no championship to show for it. And so after three months of uncertainty, I think this is about the best case scenario not only for Lillard, but for Giannis and the Bucks. In fact, this trade was actually foreshadowed last season during the 2023 All-Star Draft selection over every other All-Star reserve. Giannis picked Damian Lillard with his mm. first pick. Back mm. in 2022, Dane was asked who he would play with if he could choose any active player. His answer was Giannis. Mm. Fast forward 18 months, and they both got their wish. So That's now that crazy. he's on the Bucks, and they both got a teammate that far exceeds anyone else they've ever played with, Lillard. how good is this duo, actually? We've seen countless pairs of superstars get hyped up with grand expectations just to fall short and achieve essentially nothing together. But if history has shown us anything, this duo is bound to do something great. In mm. terms of box plus minus, there have only been six duos in the history of the NBA that were as good individually as Giannis and Dame are. And out mm. of those six duos, four of them went on to win the NBA championship that season. The only Dang. duos that didn't were Harden and CP3 in 2018, who lost to the eventual champs in the conference finals, and Durant and Westbrook, who were mm. one game away from making the finals. History yeah. has shown us that when that two three players one of lead. this caliber pair up, three it one usually lead. results in a championship, or at worst, a game or two away from the finals. We're looking Ooh. at potentially one of the best duos of the last few decades. 
Last Dang. season, Dame averaged 32 points, 7 assists, and 4 rebounds That's a game. Insane. Now, those are just historically great numbers. That's insane. That's a stat line that only Michael Jordan, James Harden, and Luka Doncic have ever achieved in the history of the NBA. Even crazier, Dame did all of this on record high efficiency. And last That's season, Giannis put up 31 That's points, 11 rebounds, and 5 That's assists per game. A stat line that That's hasn't incredible, been achieved. Yeah. Since Will Chamberlain did it oh nearly my 60 years ago. That's incredible. We all know just how dominant Giannis is. But I think stats, spending the though. last decade in the That's shadow incredible. of arguably the greatest point guard ever has made Dame one of the most underrated stars in the league. Both of them yeah. are coming off of historically great seasons. We haven't seen a pair like this. I feel like Dame is so... Dame has been like so underrated. Uh has been like so underrated in the league just because he's been playing for the trailblazers such like a like a small market team that not only are they like a small market but they haven't really done anything you know they haven't really gone they haven't gone to the nba championship yet i don't think they've gone to the western conference finals so it's like even though dame has been putting up these crazy numbers it's like not everyone has really recognized it because he's been playing for the small market team he hasn't been playing for a miami or a los angeles and also they haven't made the made the finals yet or anything like that where where then it's like all eyes are on the trailblazers it hasn't happened yet hopefully it happens with the bucks because obviously he's unbelievable since so we'll katie see. joined steph in the warriors back in 2017 Giannis in and fact, dame the last time in modern crazy. nba history two volume scores of this caliber is crazy was never over the last 50 years how are they gonna stop a that single duo that averaged at least 30 points per game and then played together in the duo. following season not Kevin Ooh. Durant and James Harden, not Curry and Durant, not LeBron and Wade. <laughs> they averaged not even Kobe 63 and points Shaq. combined. But it's not just how dominant Giannis and Dame are. are. It's the fact that their games perfectly complement one another. Yes. Individually, defenses are forced to scheme against Dame and Giannis in polar opposite ways. But yeah. together, there's not a team in the league who has the defensive personnel to cover the deep ball and the pick and roll and Fact. the low post. Fact. Just think. Every single attempt at creating a superstar tandem in recent years involves two players that usually have similar strengths and weaknesses. As yeah. good as Kyrie and That's Durant were, Guard. their games didn't complement one another. Kawhi and PG are great individually, but as a whole, their skill sets are far too similar to create a real dynamic offense. That's true, Most they're both the like two-way wings. Turns yeah. on who's going to get the next possession. Even LeBron and AD are two oversized forwards who tend to play away from the basket and dominate possessions one turn at a time. For the exact opposite reason, this is why I think the duo of Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic work so well. Two completely different, but compatible play styles. Aside from Murray, who isn't quite a superstar, and Jokic, the last time we saw a duo that was made up of two megastars with complementary skills and positions was two decades ago with Shaq and Kobe. Damian Lillard's demand to be traded wasn't some breach of loyalty. It was an attempt to regain control of his career and earn a real chance at winning like many others before him have done. How many yeah. all-time greats put their loyalty first and foremost and paid the price because of it? Guys like Reggie Imagine Miller, if Dominic Lillard Wilkins, would have left Patrick like Ewing, years ago. Talents, whose careers like if he didn't stay as long as he did because he's what, like 31, 32 now? They never overcame the final obstacle and won an NBA Imagine if he did it when he was it's like 26 like all the all-star selections. I don't know why it's doing this, y'all. I'm sorry. Big performances, playoff wins, become an afterthought or some sort of relegated achievement because the ultimate goal was never achieved. Is it better to stay with one organization with hopes that things will eventually work out? I don't know. Things never quite work out. With the with the trend nowadays, with with the trend nowadays, with the trend nowadays, I mean, people will be leaving left and right. You know, people were getting traded left and right. People signing here and there, left and right, to in order to win. You know, it's it's a different it's a different day now. It's a different day now. It's a different day now. And put yourself in a position to win. I don't well, know why. The answer lies with the players like who this. did put themselves first. In the mid 2000s, Kevin Garnett's incredible talents were being flushed down the drain in Minnesota. And so he said enough is enough and went to Boston. A move that changed the course of his career and legacy. 
if Kevin Durant never left OKC, we may not know him as a two-time champion in finals MVP, but That's rather cool. another generational talent who could never quite get it done. Even yeah, James, all it helped his legacy to out the tremendously. That that that's for sure. Organization that actually gave them a chance at winning a title because yeah. loyalty and fans and accolades aside, they had to leave in order to win. Every player wants to lift that trophy above their head and be crowned a champion. Something yeah. that was never gonna happen with Damon Portland. Mm. So what do y'all think? Is this duo truly the favorites to win this year's title? Or are we getting ahead of ourselves like we've done countless times before in the past? I don't know. Are Dame and Giannis a real match made for winning? Or is this team going to be just another failed attempt at combining talents in hopes that it yields something great? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I don't know, man. And as always, until next time. I don't know. The reason why I say I don't know is we've seen, like he mentioned, we've seen a lot of super super teams and duos that didn't turn out great you know that didn't turn out well but we'll have to wait and see is obviously very very interesting and I'm very interested and excited to see what happens between these two and uh and don't forget they kept Middleton too I believe I think they kept I think they were able to keep Chris Middleton uh which you know Middleton Middleton uh, I don't know if he was like coming off it. He might have been. He might be coming off an in an injury, but he he will. You know, he he has games where he'll just go ahead and just get buckets and beat. He would have games where he would be that secondary piece for uh for the Bucks. You know, uh, but we'll we'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys thought about this video, and I'll catch you all in the next one.